I get a lot of requests from some of our newer or beginner builders to do more tutorial or skill-based content. So we're bringing it with a whole new series. This is Back to Basics. Let's go. Jordan and Sam have been getting exponentially better at building, but we realized recently that neither one of them knows how to cut dovetails. So now we're gonna take the opportunity for me to teach them both how to do it by hand and with some power tools. Let's go. All right, knuckleheads. I'm not gonna show you absolutely everything you need because I'm probably gonna forget something because I'm human. But for the majority's sake, these are the tools that I'm reaching for the most often to hand cut dovetails. First step is we need wood. Well, while you were being dad, I found wood. Yay! So to start, you don't necessarily need to have things perfectly dimension. So you need to have square on all four sides and a square end. You have your tails and then you have your pins. I cut tails first and tails are, if you think about it from a bird, the part that looks like Jordan, the tail, specifically a dove. Weird. But just to start for practice, mark the faces that are going to be facing out. Then you're going to mark the thickness all the way around on your tails. On your pins, I don't need to readjust my marking gauge. This, do the same thing. I'd hold it like this, get a nice line. But on the pin side, we don't need to cut all around. You're going to cut to that line. And I will say, I am not a master of this and I prefer making them with tools. You gotta do what you gotta do. So we're gonna lay out the tails. When you're putting it in the vise, it's start on the outside and then mark how I want my half pin. We're gonna cut two tails on it. See this triangle here? Yeah. That's a pin. When it's cut in half like this, this part is just a matter of the preference that you want to do. Some guys don't even need to mark this, they're so good. It's the hardest way to cut dovetails, by hand like this. That center line, I said we wanted to have a half inch dovetail. So that means I need how much on each side, Jordan? Quarter inch. Quarter inch. We've got two equally sized tails. The next step here, you want to lay out the actual outside dimension of the tail. Common dovetail sizes are eight and one, six and one, seven and one. We have this seven and one here. Go ahead and you can mark it the same thing. Just make sure your marks are on the same side. Mark your waist spots. Don't get in the habit of not doing it. When you do, you're gonna screw something up and then if you can't cut a straight line with a saw, you're gonna be what we like to call up shit crick without a paddle. A good routine for practice is to kind of take something like this and just draw yourself some straight lines and practice just cutting straight up and down. You can only see two sides of a line at the same time. So it's almost always better to cut at an angle where you can see both of those lines and try to follow them both with your saw. So make sure you're close to 90 degrees. I can't just start sawing into it. I gotta get the saw going. You want the saw to just glide itself. I'm letting the weight of the saw make the cut. Them perfect on both sides. I'm gonna turn the whole board. On any dovetail you ever cut, your tails will always be a reference. I do the same thing with the pull saw, and this pull saw is a thinner curve, so it's gonna be a thinner cut. Last thing is the Cat's Moses dovetail jig. This thing's awesome, see how that sticks? Wow. You just put it right on your line, and then start your cut, and it'll just track straight down perfectly. And then you just wanna cut out the majority of the waist. It'll pop right out. Boom. Take a chisel, straight up and down, give it a little love tap -roo. You're gonna pair back to that line. And there's your, your half pin. Just go ahead and chop out the waist. And then you're literally just gonna work down your cut. So then make sure your chisel's straight up and down. And then you're just gonna go halfway down. And you can do that by hand with body weight too if you're a bear like myself. Boom, nice and square. You now have tails. Next thing is the pins. If this is the outside and this is the outside, make sure that this is outside. I made this jig based on a Mike Pekovich tutorial. It creates a hook for my dovetail to not slide around. I highly advise using that even as a beginner. I suggest literally just marking a knife on your pins. Just trust me on this guy. One light pass and then come back with a little more pressure. Go one direction always and then come back the other. Then flip it and there we go. Now what do you think I'm gonna do next, Jordan? Mark the X is where you're gonna cut out. So you're cutting out this waist. If you miss, you want to miss in. You don't want to miss wide because you can pair back. I want the saw to be against my body. And I want to see the line I'm cutting down. Flip it. Move. There's a thousand ways to do it. We're going to use Jonathan's jig. The jig is nice because you don't really have to measure as much because you've got the jig to your advantage. That's our center line. I don't need to mark down because I have my scribe line. I just bring that straight up to the line and this snaps on, bring it down. The magnets are pretty strong. They hold it nice and square. Hand cut dovetail versus a router or table saw. You're married to the thickness of whatever's cutting it. Here, I can get a super tiny cut. Now I will say, if you're gonna do tiny pins, you've gotta have a tiny chisel. Cut this sucker out. Same thing on the edges. But the jig has a square shoulder, which is called a saddle reference. So this gets really tricky with these tiny pins. Jordan, I can't wait for you to not have a good dovetail for like 15 tries. Now I'm gonna come in with the marking gauge because I literally can't get anything else in there. See how the outside of my blade is on the line? That's where I wanna be. Turn this sucker the whole way around. 
And I'll tell you what, this jig, it just made my dovetail so much better. This part's really hard. Like getting everything flat and perfect is not easy. And a lot of people undervalue the guys who can do it by hand. I admire them. They hate my guts because for some reason they're snoopy. <laughs> I really pissed off the hand cut dovetail community by making epoxy dovetails. That was quick and dirty, but with some glue, some clamps, and some prayers, that's how you do a thin one. So, now you two get to try. Can I eat first? And I have to leave because I have a brand new daughter and she misses me. Good luck, kids. Okay, so yesterday, John came in like a whirlwind in between daddy daycare and taught us how to do the dovetails. Jordan and I got a couple reps in before it was the end of the day and we both went home. So now we're back. Did you, do you remember how to do it? I thought he was gonna, like, it was gonna be more hands on. John said yesterday he wants to challenge us and have us do something. So he's gonna call us at some point, I think, with a challenge. In the meantime, I think Jordan and I both need to get a few more reps in. So I'm gonna put in some work here and keep chopping. You did it. I like to do things easy, not work hard according to most people. Jordan's having a rough day. <laughs> She's my first one, you know what I mean? Oh! Oh, little baby Annie. How's daddy daycare going? Sarah's doing most of the work. I'm just here for, for emotional and mental support. Yeah. And I'm not good at either one of those either. So. Are we uncles? You gotta work for that title. Speaking of work, what are, how are we doing? We're doing good. I've got some tests. <laughs> They're getting marginally better. They're still awful. Jordan admitted that you made it look easy and you were good at it. I'll send you that clip. John made this look so much easier. I feel like we're getting pretty good at this. That cherry one and then that one in your hand right there both look awesome. I think Yins are ready for the next step. So Annie and I have been chatting. The consensus is we think it would be best to now convert your teaching into a competition. You two create a tool tote. Got to have dovetails in it somewhere. The rest of it completely up to you guys. Use whatever materials are in the shop. Just don't cut a whole slab up or something dumb. No strict dimensions or anything. Dovetail, tool tote. And then I will choose a winner. I got 200 bucks for whoever wins. Does it have to be bucks. hand cut by physical hands or? Uh, what are you going to get? Alpha hands? I think in the fashion of a competition. Here. You gotta go with the hard way first. I'm in. Jordan's going down. My judgment won't be on, per se, the quality of the dovetails as much as like the whole thing in general. Design, material choice, all that stuff. Yes. Right. What do you think, baby girl? Thank God she looks like Sarah. Ben, we gotta find the white oak. Oh. John loves it. <laughs> all right, boys. We're hanging out. You're in the dark. We'll see you in a couple days. Yeah. John says make a tool tote, but he doesn't say what kind of tools I would be toting in it. I'm gonna make it be able to carry my tools for the weekend. I think I'm gonna do like something that's it's like 12 inches long, probably five and a half wide, and then I'm gonna have it come up four inches, and then I'm gonna make like a triangular piece that's gonna be 12 inches. Full tote, let's go. Go kick Sam's freaking butt. So I'm gonna do an inlay dovetail. I'm gonna use purple heart. I'm gonna do one eighth like around it. I'm gonna use walnut. So I gotta get humping, cause I have to make twice the amount of dovetails to do this. And I don't want Sam to get my idea and see the purple heart, so I gotta go hide this somewhere. He's gonna have to do a lot of practice. <laughs> What's up? You know what you're doing yet? Not yet. I can dial in my dovetails just a little bit better while I'm still kind of thinking through a design here. Probably sketch something out on paper. But you guys know me. I'm not gonna have a plan. I'll figure it out. It'll be great. Let's get them down to thickness. Let's do it. do my tails in these two pieces. But we gotta wait for Sam to get out of the way. He's uh, still practicing. Yeah, I haven't seen you do a clean dovetail yet. Uh, cause I'm taking the secretary approach. Oh, you race. and your f***ing horse racing. You're gonna be so sick of doing dovetails tomorrow when you're in the middle of your project. No. You're just gonna hate it. Or no. I'm gonna be like, you know what? This is my third dovetail. I'm gonna take my time. Yeah, and when your shit's I'm all never gonna do this again. I'm getting the terrible ones out now. I'm gonna put my tails in first. Where did you even find a big piece of purple heart like that? Scrap then. Just check it out sometime. Apparently there's gold in the bottom of this. So. <laughs> Leave a comment if you remember what that's from. Can kind of dovetail is cool and all, but it's just very time consuming. I don't have a lot of time. Son of a... I was gonna do the walls at four inches, but we're just gonna kind of pivot. We'll put that guy away before it's used. Have you heard from John in a while? No. Pew, pew. Yo, robots. We're getting shot. Ah. I'm gonna call him and see what he's been up to. Get the hell out of here. I'm playing war robots. He keeps ignoring me. 
Damn it. Dude, you're interrupting me. Did you just hit the FU button on me? I did hit the FU button, because I'm busy. We're here working. What are you doing that's more important? I'm working. You're probably just laying on the couch. But I'm playing War Robots, and they're the sponsor of this week's video. So technically, I'm working. What is War Robots? I'm super excited to have War Robots sponsoring this video and, and giving us the opportunity to make ridiculous videos and videos just like this one's for you guys. So if you're not familiar, War Robots is a multiplayer online mobile game where you get to pilot robots and fight other players with their robots. They have tons of options for different robots, some big and slow like myself, or some tiny, they're really fast and nimble. You get tons of options out there. If you download War Robots using the QR code on the screen or my link down in the description, you get some awesome incentives. You get a unique skin, a robot with a weapon, 100 gold, and 50,000 silvers to upgrade your robot. The first thousand people who download the game using my link will get a mega cool flamethrower that will help destroy their enemies. With being a new dad, I'm finding myself having a little bit more free time to, to play some video games and relax a bit, and also give me an escape from all of the chaos going on in the shop. Did I just get influenced? You're damn right you got influence, Sam. Whatever, dude. I'm gonna get back to work. We'll go download War Robots and I'll see you on the battlefield. Did he hang up? Oh, hey. I think I'm gonna go with something that's like real classic looking. Just like when you think of a tool to a standard shape, but I think we're gonna try to keep it kind of classic. Might play with some different colors. Wood, different things like that. Class it up. Yeah, yeah. Just try to execute it super well, super clean, and not try to do anything too frilly and over the top. Really let the dovetail shine through or look terrible. It's not clear at this point. Done some tests, talked some shit. Now it's time to build something. The keen observer will see that I made four of these. And that's because I don't know what I'm doing. There's a good chance I'm gonna screw one of these up and have to start over. So I just milled four now, so that way I have the backup. I'm gonna do the same thing for the side pieces, and then we'll get into cutting. Well, boys, we're in it now. When do we get off the maternity leave here? Think about being a mom? I hate this. I gotta do this like eight times in total. Damn it, I'm gonna have to glue this back on. The whole freaking corner came off. I was just cutting it. <laughs> she cut all right. Damn it. Where'd you get that walnut? You didn't take it out of the CNC room, did you? Don't you worry about where I got it. Where did you get that walnut? Don't worry about I'll it. Cut your freaking beard off. The location of my walnut is none of your business. As apparently I'm a shop hand, I need to know. hours later, I'm a third of the way there. I've revealed to Sam what I'm doing. Motivation's low. I gotta look off how to do this part again. Internet. I don't do it for the fame. Just trying to line it up. Here's an idea. Hopefully this works. Nope. Nope. So last night, I stayed later. You sneaky. I have to do twice the amount of globes you do, and this needs to be done by tomorrow. So I just joined at the edge. Time to cut the second round of dovetails. Give myself a nice little inlay. I did the one piece of my tails yesterday, and I laid out the other ones, but I've decided to stop. You only did one? Yeah. These are... Whatever, nerd. These are crispy as hell. So, I gotta cut the other tails, and then I gotta lay out the pins, and we'll start cutting those. And then we'll start refining, adding some pizzazz. Look on your head. Ooh, I think it's new merch. It I got a new hat. All right, I'm gonna get back to work. I was cut on the wrong side of the line. My line doesn't look very straight on the bottom. In the words of NASA, there's no problem so bad you can't make worse. I got all my tails cut. Jordan's over here hacking away. I'm trying this blue tape trick for the pins. So I'm putting tape on the end grain of the boards that get the pins. And then I've used a marking knife to cut it perfectly square. And to mark those, I'll be able to take out the little piece of tape so that you can really see whether you're in or out of the area you need cutting. I got my eighth inch line scribed out all over this. These are gonna take a long time, so to speed up that process, I'm gonna kinda cheat. Say what you wanna say. I'm gonna use a table saw, I'm gonna cut the majority of this out, and then I'm gonna come back and clean it up with a chisel and give it that hand cut feel. My pool saw is literally just dead, and Purple Heart's pretty freaking dense. So, now I'm just gonna throw this in the table saw jig, clear out the majority of it, come back, hand chisel it, and sucks for Sam, because I did my homework and figured out different ways to cut dovetails. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. <laughs> but his look pretty awesome too. And he's doing them by hand. Hats off to him, because I was losing my freaking mind back there. It's no longer fun. It looks like a, a church for birds. Yeah, cut a little skylight in there. Yeah, a lot narrower than I expected, but.
Got mocked up. I got some finish work to do. On to the bottom. Got some scrap walnut left. I'll just put a full bottom in there. I don't know if I could actually be able to get this guy off. Jeez, it's freaking tight. You know what? I'm just gonna keep it. No glue. No glue. You have to glue it. It's hot. They literally don't. It's an art form. It's natural joinery. So this guy. It's only a green belt. Bandsaw tried to kill me. She broke. Do we have more blades for this? Off camera, got excited, tried to put a piece together. I cracked it a little bit. I'm a little nervous right now. But I relieved the top part, so it's no longer part of the equation as far as the friction going on in this. So I decided to do a through tenon. No going back right now. You serious right now? Yeah, thank you. I should fight you. Work smart, not hard. <laughs> Woo! Word on the street is boss man's coming in today. Jordan and I are getting close, but I still have the panel to make, glue everything up, final sanding, shaping, and then finish. I hope I can get this done before he just barges in like he does. Jordan, you think we'll get this done? I'm, I'm done, so yeah. Damn it, the slot is too thin. I hate this, I gotta make sure it fits. Take it apart again. Oh, this wood is just exploding. Getting real now, boys. We've got all the pieces laid out. It all has to go together at once. Sort of a flaw of this design, but we'll get there. I'm just gonna, I think it was the last video. I said, I'm just gonna put glue on everything and uh, hope for the best. We're gonna do that again. This thing is looking super sweet. That means there's only one thing left to do, and that's let us spray! So I gassed my entire project in Endurovar and hated how it looked. So I sanded it all off, sort of, and I'm just gonna use some woodworker's oil. I like how it looks on cutting boards, so. Oh yeah, I think that shines a lot better. Daddy's back! Oh, let's see this waste of a week. I hated this project. You hated this project? Jordan was miserable. It's Sam's job to be miserable, not yours. It yeah. broke. I had fun. Welcome to Real Woodworking. So, both under here. Two tool totes, right? And 200 bucks. Slightly above average? Eh. All right, let's see them. And the reveal. Oh, wow. You guys didn't do too shabby. I'm gonna take a stab at this. Sam Jordan. We're just gonna put it out there. I'm gonna be unbiased. We gotta dive into them. So this one has a little bit of a Japanese vibe to it. We've got some through tenons here. This is definitely gonna fall apart in the future. But these dovetails are crispy. For a first dovetail project, that's Don't super impressive. That. Yeah, you got a raised panel on the bottom, because who does that? The reason I think this is Jordan's, because Jordan likes to try things before he has any skills that allow him to be capable of doing those things. So he went for the double inlay on the purple heart on the dovetails here. You can really tell that Jordan wanted these to be great. And the only problem is <laughs> the end grain is supposed to be what you're using and seeing here, not the long grain. I'm super impressed with what both of you were able to accomplish. I, I will say that first. And the winner of our first ever new skill start to finish challenge is this guy. Woo! Let's go! Wow. You can buy a couple of bottles of whiskey with that. Congratulations, my friend. Jordan, I'm actually super impressed you were able to do wow. that. Wow. Considering you've never Thanks even like, tried to cut a dovetail in your life. If you want to see us three doing more stuff we probably shouldn't be doing, I got a full playlist for you right here. If you've got any ideas for what I should teach these dudes next and then challenge them again, leave it down in the comments below.